Welcome, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me today. My name is Denise Lonis, and I am here today with Francis Flinthorson. Francis is the creator of the No Blogger Left Behind series. I am the co-creator, and we're thrilled to have you join us today. Today we're doing a pre-series just to give you a really good idea, just a, a taste of what the No Blogger Left Behind series is going to be about and what we're going to be covering. This is a very practical, business-based approach to blogging. This is going to uncover blogging at its absolute best, how blogging really works, how blogging can help you make money, and how does blogging translate into simplification for your business and an increase in your income. So today, we're going to be talking about the overall strategy of blogging. Why should you blog, and how can you launch your very own blog network? Fran, what I want to do is I want to start out by having you just give a little bit of uh, insight into the whole overall strategy of blogging, just how powerful it can really be in an agent's business. It just shares some insight and how you actually came to create the No Blogger Left Behind series. Sure. Well, blogging, ha blogging became... A thing to do in real estate in late 2004, early 2005, and then into 2006. So anybody who started up through about 2006 is still considered an early adopter in real estate blogging. And what it did was just give people, it was to give agents an opportunity to write about the business, establish themselves as experts, and connect with their public. And it was a fun thing to do. It's been a fun thing to do. Um, it's been very, very effective. It's given a lot of people a lot of business, and uh, and, and created lots of lots of chatter, lots of different blogging products. Um, when I first started working with No Blogger Left Behind several years ago, you know, it was all about free blog. You know, who was blogging for free on Realtown? Who was blogging for free over at Active Rain? You know, who was setting up a type bad blog? Uh, WordPress was still pretty young, and really wasn't. Didn't come. Uh, of an age until oh you know like 2006 and then and then after that, so there has been lots of different blogging networks, lots of different philosophies about blogging, lots of thoughts about how to do it you know uh, using different uh, different modalities, different blogging modalities. But now that we're looking at 2011, and now that we, that we are where we're at, we know that WordPress is the state of the art in blogging, and WordPress has a lot of new functionality that it didn't have before. Um, a lot of people have been evolving. There are a lot of advanced bloggers in the real estate business right now who have multiple blogs, who have blogs in many, many different places, who have secondary blogs feeding, you know, feeding uh, traffic to their main blogs, and, and who have different uh, types of focus with their blogs. You know, we have very general fo focus about real estate. We have hyper, fo hyper, hyper local focus, and, and people actually doing blogs just on neighborhoods, just on, on separate homeowner associations, or on their niche. So we're, we're seeing blogging move in a new direction, and we're even seeing people look and creating their own blog networks. And, and that becomes very, very exciting. It used to be that, that you could join a blog network, but, but now the technology is right at our fingertips. And not only you know, do we become part of a blog network, we can start our own. We can have our own blog network. And so there's a new mindset that's happening. There's a new type way of thinking about blogging, which is about community building, um, about you know, taking a look at the, at the people who are parts of the networks that we create and managing those as, as our own community managers. So tell me a little bit about, I mean, there's so many blogs out there, I mean, and, and real estate-specific blogs like Active Rain and Realtown and uh, Point to Agent and Truly. I mean, there's a lot of real estate-specific blogs. Talk to the agents and listeners today, Fran, just a little bit about the different types of blogs. And as an agent that, there's two eight types of agents out there, an agent who has a blog and is serious about it, and an agent who's thinking about putting a blog together and maintaining that. Talk about the realities of what it really takes to be a successful blogger. Well, the first thing it takes to be a successful blogger is a commitment to, to, a, to a certain amount of time, to learning how it works, and then, and then sitting and actually blogging and, and writing. It's a, it's a writing process. And, uh, 
and, and planning. So it's, it's about a, a having a commitment. And for people who have been blocking for a long time, they find themselves at a cross right now on the road right now. I find many people saying, you know, I've got a blog here and I've got a blog there, but I have to start bringing everything together under one umbrella. And, and, and how do I do that? You know, because every time you go to a new blog, I know people with five and ten different blogs. And every time you go to a different blog, you know, you're, you're, you're logging into another dashboard, you know, with another username, another password. And, um, and, and where we're at right now with WordPress is you can actually have multiple blogs under a single dashboard with a single login and manage multiple blogs right in one place. So for people who have been around a while and who are looking to be a whole lot more efficient in their blogging, that's going to be a way to go. Um, some people are looking, and they maybe they're at Active Rain. I know there's a lot, a lot of interesting stuff happening at Active Rain right now because there's been a change in management. There is a change in direction over there, and uh, and people are looking to expand their presence in the market some more, and looking at new ways of doing that. Um, you know, people are very happy at Active Rain too, and they want to be able to expand that presence. They can actually use a plugin on their Active Rain blog and, and, and post right to a WordPress blog. So, you know, people don't have to reinvent the wheel in all cases. They just have to be aware of what the technology is that lets them get to where they want to be. So they need to be clear about what they want to accomplish and then find out the easiest way of getting there. You know, what is what is the you know, what is the shortest uh you know, the shortest route between two points between where you are right now and where you want to be. And it's, it's a matter of finding out what that is and doing it. If you're a new blogger, um, I think it's kind of easy because you know it's going to be WordPress. And depending upon your, your, your level of, um, of tech savvy, you're either going to be going to what we call a managed hosting system where somebody else is worried about the technology, or you're going to go to a, uh, a self-hosting where you're going to take that burden on yourself. So you really have just, just two choices. That becomes that becomes a little easier. And we're going to be talking a lot in the No Blogger Left Behind series about the pros and cons of managed hosting versus self-hosting. We're going to also be talking a lot about primary blogs, secondary blogs, a lot about um, search engine optimization. Um, and, and, you know, that's a real benefit to having a secondary blog and, and why should you do that and why shouldn't you. So there's a lot of the areas that we're going to be covering in detail because, the, you know, as I said, there's two types of agents. The agent that's starting out, they really need step-by-step -step directions. And then there's the agent that already is blogging, has had some success and is uh, more advanced, and they may want to either increase their traffic or their conversion on their blog, or they may want to set up a secondary blog, or they may want to increase traffic from their secondary blogs to their primary blogs. There's a whole, you know, there's a whole group of different motivations out there from agents. So those are going to be some of the areas that we're going to be covering in great detail in the No Blogger Left Behind series. Um, talk a little bit, Fran, about uh, multi-site applications for brokerages and for agents. I think this is a really powerful uh, really powerful application. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Absolutely, because and this is really, really what's, what's important right now for everybody to understand. It's, it's about WordPress multiple sites, and this is something that, that opens up a whole lot of a whole lot of possibilities for the broker. For example, a broker can have a WordPress site and then be in a position to offer all of the agents in that brokerage their own personalized WordPress site that has the same type of branding, company branding. And then, again, do it all in one single dashboard. Um, an agent can actually create his or her own community with a multi-site. And let's say have multiple sites under the agent's main site, have multiple sites that, that, uh, that, that he can give to strategic partners, maybe, maybe a favorite lender or two, maybe a title company, maybe a home inspector. And all of those different strategic partners can have a blog that is tied directly to the agent's blog where the agent can feature their posts you know, on the main page, where there can be a lot of engagement. It actually will take a lot of the burden off of the agent in terms of producing content because a lot of that content will be written and driven by the strategic partners. Um, another thing that it will let people do is it will let you build a website that is so search engine optimized, it's wild. Um, I've seen people work with 
you know, work with property search. You have an IDX, which is a way to search your multi list. And the way that IDX usually works on a WordPress site is that for a different search, let's say you want to have different searches that are that are that are that are that are set up and they're built into your website. You want maybe a different search for every single zip code in your market area. Maybe you want to have searches for houses between 500 and 1,000 and a million in the foothills in Tucson, and, and you want to hit different neighborhoods. Well, multi-sites will let you take those searches and not just put them on a single page that's optimized, but you can create a separate, fully optimized WordPress site for every single one of those. And that doesn't become visible to the web visitor. I mean, they don't know there that you maybe that you have 20 or 30 different websites there. But you know who knows it is the search engine spider. You know the search engine spider because you have that optimization, all of those keywords, all of that construct, that infrastructure that drives the spiders in a whole website for each of those different searches, which is just absolutely amazing. And that's where we're at. And the other thing that multi-site does is it gives you the ability to work with another another uh, another type of, of, of WordPress uh, plugin. It's called BuddyPress. And BuddyPress is, is kind of like Facebook in a box in a, you know, for, the, for the blogs. Um, it's quite amazing. You can have people come and become a member of your blog. They can have a profile. Um, maybe they'll have their own blog. They can create, uh, you know, they can create conversation in a forum. You'll see activity streams. They can upload videos and, and all kinds of things. So you can create your own community in a, in a, you know, in that multi-site environment. And, and I'm really excited because this is one of the things we're going to talk about. I haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about this in the industry yet, so, so I'm excited that we're going to be doing that. Well, the, the one thing I want agents to hear right now is that, because I know we're talking about some things that for some people uh, it's exciting because they know exactly what we're referring to. They just haven't actually done it yet. And then there are other people that are wondering, oh, my goodness, uh, the idea of a multi-site when I can't, even, yeah, I can't even fathom the idea of a single site. Just know that it's not as difficult as it sounds. There will be step-by-step -step, um, directions and tips and, and uh you will literally be walked through every step of the way. We really look forward to having each one of you join us for the No Blogger Left Behind series. It's really going to be an in-depth um, look at blogging and a step-by-step -step approach to actually taking these ideas from the idea phase to the implementation phase. How do I get my blog started? How do I really enhance my blog if I've already got one? How do I go to a multi-site application? What does that look like? So I'm very excited about that. Fran, I want to thank you for joining me today. I'm looking forward to our next discussion, our next series. And uh, please, um, all the listeners out there, all the agents out there, brokers out there, owners, managers, um, please uh, keep on the lookout. The No Blogger Left Behind series will be coming at you very soon, and we're very excited to share all the information with you. So until we talk to you next time, uh, really think about your blog. Think about blogging and just how, how powerful and what an effective lead generation tool blogging can be for you in your business or for your brokerage or for your agents. So um, until next time, uh, take care and look forward to our next call. Bye-bye.